Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a simulator and use it. Okay, for mobile auto uh, like iOS app automation. So let me open Xcode, which I told you how to install in last video. So you guys won't get these options. Don't worry. Click on create new project. Don't worry about uh, development thing or all. Just click on single view. Choose anything. Don't worry about it. Just click next next just I'm giving uh, any name you just give your name also take it via app okay team it will ask okay this team thing like uh, okay just choose it as of now if you if you have choose it otherwise leave it none okay so leave it I will leave it none only so which language you are going to use let it be set give some identifier something like com dot just click next it will ask you to store somewhere I just leave it to desktop yeah this is done actually so like from this how can I get simulator so here if you click here you will get so many simulators actually so this is based on how like what are the SDK you have installed let me run I just created I'm just running it I'm not doing anything else it didn't add any code and all even that's not required for us as of now or if you guys really have an interest on iOS app development you can explore you will get it more okay it will open very big actually so let me yeah, it, it takes some time to launch. So you will get a iPhone 8 plus actually. Just click on physical device to make it fit into the screen. Okay, just wait for some time. In the meanwhile, I can show you like how can you download more simulator. Go to Xcode and preferences uh, components. See, there are a lot of uh, simulators available iOS 11.0, 10.3.1. If you install the version, it will download like you can run with uh, uh, multiple versions, like uh, different kind of devices. For example, I like iOS 10 with iPhone 5s, iOS 10 with iPhone 6, something like that. I now I'm running 11.1, uh, which I have installed. You see if you if you see here you will get to know iOS 11.0 something like that okay so I have I, I don't have anything in this app right that's why it's showing a empty white screen so this is a like simulator it's look like a iOS device so for the testing and development purpose we, we will use these things actually it's uh, like it all like it's almost work like a iOS like iPhone okay so if you are able to launch that's it guys so we have done a simulator creation as well as how to use thanks for watching guys please see our next video to get more knowledge about ios automation